I teach a class, Intro to Aviation. Um, if you Google the phrase Pilot's Lounge 118, you'll read more about my class. I've taught it every summer for the last 10 years. I've never been to teacher day at Oshkosh because I, I didn't think that I needed it. Um, I've already been teaching aviation for a while to middle school kids, and, and I teach Microsoft Flight Simulator to middle school kids. So I didn't think I needed it, but I thought I would give it a try, and I'm sure glad I did. I, I learned a lot about what's going on out there in the world of aviation education, what other teachers are doing, and I, I was somewhat humbled. There are some good aviation educators out there. There's some great programs out there. I'm learning a lot today. This is actually my second time coming to Teacher's Day. Um, my reasons in coming both years have always been to get more information out to my students and find things that are relevant, to, especially to elementary age students because this is where you know the seeds of discovery are born. That's a great career path. Kids learn a lot. I've got students who who are already pilots that, that they've worked through high school taking classes and studying and and they find a mission in learning how to fly and and they don't even realize that they're doing complex calculations and analytical thinking and critical thinking while they're flying they just think it's fun but it's helping them become critical thinkers well I think especially for women I think it is absolutely an astonishing field that girls, our elementary age girls, really, really need to see that they've got to get into, that it's wide open for them. I had a kid build a wind tunnel, for heaven's sakes, after he took my class. Why? I didn't tell him to go out and build a wind tunnel. He was just interested in this, and he went to the University of Minnesota and got a textbook and, and taught himself uh, uh, something about aviation uh, uh, aeronautical engineering. I think that we need to use aviation as a tool to get those kids motivated because right now we have a hard time getting kids motivated. There are so many things out there that kids can be distracted by that aren't very good. Video games that are, are pointless other than things blowing up. Kids texting each other all the time on their cell phones and just writing each other little notes in school instead of passing them around on slips of paper. Now we pass them around electronically. If we can get kids focused on something worthwhile like involvement in aviation, I think we as a society benefit for it. Yes, definitely, um, especially with the shortages that are coming up or that they are predicting are happening as current times are setting in. The girls are definitely apprehensive because they feel they can't do it, but I'm seeing more and more young ladies becoming more interested in technical education. Um, our tech ed department in our school has quite a few girls, not as many, it's not a 50-50, but there's becoming more and more it seems I'm not sure what is pulling them if they're just thinking they can do it or if there's you know backing from home or parent I, I'm not sure well we know the the AIAA offers a $500 scholarship for teachers to bring in some innovative teaching methods into their classroom but maybe offering things on their websites with lesson plans or ways to incorporate their aviation into the classroom or even small, even a $200 scholarship to a teacher will help them get rocketry kits or a straw, a straw rocket kit that they can use in their class and help kids learn about aviation. The aviation industry uh, in particular is, is really all of us. It's, it's, it's general public and I think, I think um, Teachers are, are having a hard time of it right now. There's, there's some anti-teacher sentiment out there. Or so there's some blaming teachers when results of students aren't always good. And it's, it's a wider uh, problem than just teachers. So I think one thing that, that aviation industry could do is, is events like this and support teachers and realize that teachers are going to be part of the solution. The teachers are not the problem. They're going to be part of the solution. Also, I think the aviation industry has to do as an event like this, reach out to non-pilot teachers. I'm a private pilot, I have 500 hours, I own a hangar, I own a couple of airplanes, but not all teachers are like that, the vast majority aren't. 
So we really have to preach aviation to the non-aviating teachers and say, look, this is a great way to get kids involved. Not only that, but there's a great need for pilots, for and, and professional pilots, yes, but also the general aviation weekend pilot. We need a strong base of, of recreational flyers who are willing to participate in aviation on the weekends, designers of aircraft, mechanics, and so on and so forth. One thing I would like to see is more grants that um, I could apply for or competitively and um, see if I could produce a project and show the results here at Oshkosh or show this to manufacturers and say, here's the benefit uh, of what we do, what we do in the classroom. Aero TV is brought to you by Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.